Hi, welcome to my channel. This video is the continuation from previous video. <clears throat> and I'm going to teach you how to customize um, swing components to make it um, arc or curb. So first is let's try to run the project. Then the project is we need to put curb here in the corner of the components. So first is let's uh, put curb to um, G button. So UI manager. Then put. Then let's put string here for the key, which is our key is button. Then our. By the way, um, if you uh, put this without importing um importing lap lap it won't work so just add flat lap this is the uh, requirements then here if you want to um circle just put 999 that is a default then <clears throat> run then if you see the, our button is oblong okay not um um but this there's out uh, there's no corner that is curb just put arc or you can put a uh, semi arc, for example, uh, eight. Then let's try to run the project. Run. So semi curb. That is it. Um, side. So this is uh, G button. If you customize the uh, button. RG button. The next is let's customize um, progress bar UI. Then put. Then let's put um, progress bar. Then arc. Then let's put ninety nine. Oh no, nine hundred ninety nine. Then this is command G, G progress bar. The next is we don't have yet a progress bar here. So let's add progress bar. Um, okay. Progress bar. This one. So let's add progress bar. Then Let's save, then back to main uh, class. Then let's add um, text component. If we want, if we want to put arc of the text field, then let's put text components. Uh, component, then arc. Then let's put here 99, 999. Then this is um, JTX field. Then J password field. Then format J formatted text. text field okay the next is let's put um checkbox put then check box if we want to put curve then let's put 99 999 then UI manager, let's put another one to um, component. Put 
dan komponen then arc then our value here is 999 here is only for g uh, check box then here component then let's put g combo box if we want to have if we want to put arc in g combo box <coughs> Then G spinner. Okay. This is how we customize all the components. Okay. The next is let's um, put um, formatted text and <coughs> spinner. Formatted text here. The next is the spinner. Can use this if we want if we want to put on um, numbers. Okay. So we create libraries like the the chooser. Okay, run to see the changes. <clears throat> okay. In ZTX field, we don't put uh, arc in ZTX component. So let's see. Text component com component. Okay, it's wrong. Then let's try to save run. Oh, there's a curve here in formatted text. Then the text field then j button let's put here curve if we customize here in this way so all your components in your application will customize okay the next is if we want to put um single customization so let's comment this one oh no um before that we proceed to put um inner focus for example we need to to add border for the inner focus let's see If we click this one, the inner focus focus is blue. We need to put it um, to set it uh, to pixel. The inner focus. So here, let's add inner focus UI manager. Then put then component. Then inner uh, focus let's put with then the value is two means two pixel for the border so let's see run So the inner focus of this one is uh, G combo box, text field, formatted, and spinner. So let's put here a G combo box. Box and G text field. Um, G password field. then formatted j for matted text field then last one is the spinner so let's add here 
password field let's um minimize this one um password field okay so let's try run let's close this previous um running application so here our password field uh combo box but the button is there's no um inner focus so let's put that okay our next is the j button so let's add inner focus of j button so ui manager then put then let's put here button then inner focus with then the value is let's put two then that's it then let's put j button then let's try to run the project <clears throat> Okay, two pixel, the inner um, inner focus. So that's it. So next is we need to customize it um, by specific component. So let's leave this as a comment. Then let's proceed to the plat G plat lab, okay, a G frame plat lab. Then here let's put um for example if we add arc to this uh, g button so let's put here a uh, j button then put client property then our um key here is a uh, j button then button type then the button type our button type is round rec okay then let's put the for g combo box g combo box then set um put client property our key is g component then round rec then let's put boolean here true then for the spinner Spinner, this one put then the component. Let's copy this one. Oh, no, the component then round rec then true. Then for the text field. For the text, so let's put um, the component okay, round rec, then true, okay, then let's try to run the project. <clears throat> So it is round. So in the uh, in next video, I will show you how to add um, icon to this um, text. For example, we we need to put 
placeholder or icon to this uh, text field. So, see you next video. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye.